When it comes to humble beginnings, Jung Song Il, who plays Yeon Jin's husband in The Glory, knows all about it. Song Il has been gaining a lot of attention for his performance in The Glory, and because of this, we're learning a lot of new things about him. Recently, he appeared in an episode of You Quiz on the Block, which aired on September 1st. During this episode, he made some revelations that broke the hearts of everyone watching. It turns out he didn't have the easiest childhood, and he touched up on all the hardships he had to face when he was younger. Song Il shared that the way he got interested in pursuing an acting career actually had a lot to do with his struggles. He elaborated that he pretty much didn't have his mind set on any career path early on in his life. This was mainly because he quite literally did not have the time to figure out his passions because he was so occupied by trying to make a living and making sure he and his family survived. He continued by explaining that when he was younger, his mother was very ill and was away for a long time in order to recover. He says that that he met her late, referring to the fact that the two of them didn't have much time to build a relationship when he was a kid because she was really sick. His father also wasn't present during these times, but he had other reasons. Song Il described his father as a free spirit, and by this, he meant that his father was almost never home. When he entered his third year of high school, his mother finally recovered well enough to return home to him. The bittersweet part of it is that for Song Il, it was time to make his college decisions. His mother was actually the one who encouraged him to go to college, even though he wasn't a big fan of studying. His mother told him to look into courses that teach you practical skills, but it was actually Song Il's sister that set the foundation for his current career by advising him to look more into art-related majors. He eventually decided to take his sister's advice and chose a degree in fine art and performance art. This was the first step he set towards becoming an actor, but at the same time, things at home still weren't the greatest for him. During the episode, MC Yu Jae Sok asked Song Il to tell the viewers a bit about what it was like when he was younger. Just like most kids, he also had times of rebellion and mischief, but things were significantly different for Song Il compared to other kids. In fact, thinking back on his past experiences even made him tear up throughout the episode. He explained that the fact that his parents weren't around was quite hard for both him and his sister. He added that it was mainly his sister who took care of him since there was no one else who could do that job. She is only two years older than him, but made sure to look after him as if she was his mother. While their parents were away, the two of them lived with their grandmother, but she also wasn't the fittest. In fact, while they were in elementary school, they spent most of their time at home taking care of their grandmother. At some point, their grandmother started to have a very hard time moving by herself and ended up being immobile. As a result, Song Yil and his sister had to make sure to help her, and they even had to clean her up. The three of them lived together in a small house until that changed when their grandmother passed away when they were in sixth grade. While Song Yil had a sister to take care of him, there were times that his sister wasn't around. During the episode, he shared a memory of how hard things got for him during the times when his sister wasn't at home. Since he was probably too little to prepare food for himself at the time, he had to wait until his sister returned home from school to feed him and give him something to drink. But one day while he was waiting, he had nothing to eat or drink and got so hungry that when he saw a puddle of water outside, he went over there to drink it. He explained, I waited until the dirt fell to the bottom and drank the water at the top. Jae Sok was shocked to hear this and asked Song Il why he didn't go to the neighbors to ask them for a cup of water. To this, he responded with, that you can do a few times. I felt guilty going around and asking every time. The host then continued by asking him if his sister knew that he had gone to such lengths to drink a little bit of water. Song Il expressed that his sister was actually pretty mad at him when she came back. He said that she had asked him if he was crazy to do that and that he should have just waited for her to come back. Song Il confessed that none of his own hardships were as tough on him, but watching his sister go through so many struggles is what really shattered his heart in a million pieces. Not only did she have to spend most of her free time taking care of him, she was also just a kid in elementary school when she did all that. He explained that despite having limited ingredients available at home, his sister always made sure to put something nice for them on the table. He elaborated that thinking back on this makes his heart hurt a lot since she was just a child too, but had to be strong nonetheless. He revealed that she was so good at keeping it all together that he had never even seen her cry. As he got older, things started looking up for Song Il. After his mother returned and he went to university to pursue the arts, he finally had time to figure out his passions. He actually stepped into the limelight around 2000 and the very first thing he set his mind to was a career in theater. The very first place 
play he appeared in is titled A Praise of Youth, and he quickly became an outstanding actor in this industry. He's now one of the most well-known actors in the Daehangno area of Seoul, which is a neighborhood that is known for having a lot of theaters, hosting plays, and which is inhabited by many theatrical talents like him. He became very passionate about his work in theater and did it for a few years, until he decided it was time to branch out and made his very first appearance on the big screen. His first film was titled H, and he only made a small appearance in it. His next notable project was A Frozen Flower, in which he also played a supporting role. Although the role was too small to really make an impact, he still got cast for a lot of other movies afterwards. He had a lot of acting experience from his theater days, and this paid off when he was cast in notable films such as The Con Artist in 2014 and Project Wolf Hunting of last year. After experiencing what it was like to work in the film industry, Son Yeo branched out even further and made his debut on the small screens with the role in The Return of Il Deme. His decisions had a great outcome since he started to become a bigger name in the industry and landed some pretty prestigious roles every now and then. Despite gaining more recognition for his work in the film and television industry, Son Yeo always stayed true to his roots and never stopped doing theater plays. For example, from 2020 to 2022, he starred in the musical Mio Fratello, in which he played the role of Sonny Boy. The play became a box office hit, and fans expressed that they loved to see a different side of Song Il, since in this production, he even got to sing and dance. Even this year, he'll be featured in a play titled Beautiful Sunday, and since he has stolen the hearts of many people watching him in the glory, expectations are high. Currently, Song Il is at the peak of his career, mostly due to the wave of newfound attention he's experiencing because of his performance in The Glory. He's definitely come a long way since his times in elementary school. When it comes to his character in The Glory, he confessed that he had a hard time perfecting his scenes. Gi Moon Suk, the writer of the show, shared that she's actually immensely happy with him because of his huge talent and ability to act out any type of situation. She said, It doesn't matter how I write my lines. When he says it, it sounds like a really good line. Over the years, Song Il not only grew mentally and found his passions, he also made sure to take good care of his physical health. He shocked his fans when he shared a post on Instagram that showed how much of a transformation his body has gone through. After he starred in The Glory, this quickly gained a lot of public attention. In the caption of the post, he elaborated that he had intensely trained for about eight weeks straight. Every day, he'd go to the gym to train for about two to three hours. He further shared that it was all his own discipline since he didn't get any help from a personal trainer. Just like with most of his achievements, it was his own hard work that brought him these amazing results. That was all on Jong Song Il's life. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.